What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Sip Wine and Talk That Real Life, mm, the series. Today in episode two, we're gonna start out with fulfillment, self-fulfillment, if you will. What that looks like and how to obtain it in this craziness we call world. So I know you guys are probably thinking, well, Janae, this is a wine series, so sis, where's the wine? Well, you'll be seeing that soon. So if you're of age, please grab a glass, get you out your favorite, wine of choice and let's pour so you guys ready to talk about it boom and then i realized okay this was the reason i was feeling so uncomfortable it's because i was feeling uncomfortable like i was i felt like it wasn't right for me and sometimes just acknowledging that feeling yeah. is enough like that is progress in itself when yeah. you can say i trust this feeling enough to let it go to let it go. To let it go. Because sometimes we have a hard time mm -hmm. with letting go of what is not obtainable at that moment. Mm -hmm. And we think that it's fulfilling our gestures. We think that it's fulfilling our innate nature ability or whatever. We think that it's it's fulfilling when really it's giving us false hope. Yeah. Ooh. False, you know, false sense of reality, false sense of judgment. And... You know, you said something what was like progress within myself. And I want to touch on that internal feeling because one thing I do on my channel is I like to not only give the problematic situation, but complement it with a solution. Mm -hmm. How do we change that around to say, yeah, I just graduated high school. I see it. I mean, I, yeah, I just graduated high school. You know, should I go into college or I just graduated college? Damn, like. Should I be getting a job or mm -hmm. should I relax? Or while I'm relaxing, what should I be doing? Or, you know, should I start a business? And a lot of people have this misconception. You know, 2020 was where people felt like, I need to start a business, I right. need to get a PPP law, <laughs> I need to be on my hustle. Right. But it was, it was very camouflaged. Mm -hmm. And it was like, not everybody's meant to start a business right, right then now. and there. Yes. Um, some people, it takes time to even understand what they're doing this business for exactly if you don't have a purpose behind your business it won't succeed at all mm -mm. um but when it goes back to the internal like what are you trying to fulfill that you think is on the outsource you know um and it can go back easily to being misunderstanding yourself mm -hmm. when you when you're you're not the same person as when you're 18 versus <laughs> 24 or 23 right. or 20s in general and if you're still consistently thinking the same way then like they say when you get into this new age which I feel we are in now mm -hmm. a lot of people go up a lot of people get left behind yep. but right who <laughs> 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 but um a lot of people get left behind, and a lot of times we like to bring everybody with us. Yeah, girl. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I struggle. I, that's one thing I struggle with is letting go of. Mm, it's letting go of the expectation, the expectations that you carry, that your now is forever. That is what I have to come into grips with, and that's a part of that progress thing, like. When you, there, there's gonna come a point in time, and it comes with, I think it comes with experience and maturity. Mm -hmm. And college, the transition between college and high school is when you realize that the, the, the struggling, the nights up, the, you know, assignments, the stress, the friends, the fun, all things must come to an end at some point. And just like you had to leave the college behind, because uh, there's a such thing as a, a career student. I know people yeah. who, I got a, a cousin, he been in college about 20 years ago, got about 10 degrees, but he, he was not ready to face real life. Mm -hmm. So he kept getting degrees and stayed in college. And we all know that one person like, you about 28, 29, and you still at parties, you know, right. not judging them. Of course. But just saying that like, there comes a point in time where all things must come to an end. And unfortunately everything can't come with you. Right. You know what I mean? So that we leaving people behind, like you, that's something I, I'm I'm learning. Everybody's not gonna be able to come with you. Some people, as you elevate, and it's in elevation. They say it's lonely at the top. Like it's lonely in a new place. Yeah. And that's the thing about college. Like we all have graduated and went our separate ways now. Mm -hmm. It's people I used to be cool with see every day. Now they live in Atlanta because they're working now, and mm -hmm. I'm still here. Or somebody else may move 
on the other side of town, but they got a different schedule now. So it's like, I feel alone. But in that aloneness, if you really acknowledge where you are, acknowledge where you are, how you feel, that's when you'll start finding what they call your tribe, who's mm -hmm. there where you are at that time. Right. You know what I mean? And and it's, it gets better. I'll yeah, just say that. It, it gets does. better. It, it does. gets better. But it gets better. It's one of those things where people talk about in their songs, especially older people, when they say, you know, your twenties, y'all, we getting ate up out here for y'all. So mm -hmm. it's all love. Just know that. Biting and love. <laughs> Biting <and> love. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, it's when when people older talk about in their twenties and how it's like, in your twenties, you don't know nothing. In your twenties, you know, you're supposed to be broke. In your 20s, you're this, you're that, you're that, and you don't reach into your 30 until you're where you have some self consciousness and all this glorious mm -hmm. things that you're supposed to have. Right. But I, I feel like people in their 20s is different, maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. than people previous generations in their 20s. As it should be. Hello. As it should be. So, yes, I may be broke, or but I'm climbing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I may be educated. But I'm still, of course, naive to myself. Maybe not as much naive to the world because as you grow, you see what's out here. And if you're faced with it on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's police, um, systematic <laughs> things, um, you know, call it what it is. But I feel like when you're in your 20s, and you know, I won't know until I'm 30. Of course. And I'm 40. But when you're in your 20s, you, are more you you are very aware mm -hmm. of what is going on and what is happening to you to some degree mm -hmm. some people are very idle mm -hmm. and don't jump ship into maturity and still chase that life that fantasy mm -hmm. but for me and my experience and who I hang around which is not many people mm -hmm. but um it's I'm, I'm more connecting to myself because I see people connecting to their self. So mm -hmm. it's like like-minded, like-mindedness are alike. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it goes to like you attract what you are too. Yeah. Like, so that's why I say there is hope. If you're, if you feel like you're alone or you feel like you're in a, in a place where it's like, oh, I'm, I got to say this because it came to my mind. So when you talked about um, progress versus patience. Um, for if I could go back and talk to my 18 year old self, like okay. you know, right after high school, they said 13, but we're gonna talk to 13 okay. too, girl. I got a lot to tell her, but um, I would have said, Don't listen to what the majority tells you to do, follow the minority who's living the lifestyle you want to live. Mm -hmm. Um, and that goes for wealth building, that goes for like somebody say, I just want peace, like, don't follow everybody who's striving for peace, look and see what the person who has the peace or what you perceive to be the peace that you want and see the things that they do. Because a lot of times, like, it is the isolation that makes people stronger, mm -hmm. that builds the wealth, that builds the mental wealth, that builds the emotional wealth. And it's it. a lot of times it requires you to take the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. For example, us in entrepreneurship, like, it, it, it can be lonely sometimes when yeah. you sit behind your laptop and, and recording YouTube videos by yourself, you know, and, and doing your work and doing all those things. But I just said that, like, that patience part, the patience of knowing that the loneliness is temporary. Mm -hmm. Like, you will find like-minded people. I found, we found each other, and we are both, in, you know, in entrepreneurship. We both, you know, we graduated college around the same time. Like, we have a similar journey, a similar pathway. So just knowing that God will lead those people to you whenever you choose patience yeah. over progress. gotta get the progress, gotta get the progress. Like, there is a grace in choosing patience yeah. over progress. And going back to what you're saying to your 18 year old self, and I wanted to clarify that no, you do not have to look at the vast or the minority for answers. Right. But I right. believe what you were saying was because we're 18, or you know, you're 18 in that moment, you look for answers in many places. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to look for answers, make it intentional. intentional yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can you hear me in the back? Am I speaking to the choir or am I speaking to the church? Hello. Intentional. 
being intentional with your desires, your progress, your internal fulfillment, and the things that you are seeking in your everyday life. That is a big one. I hope that hit for you. It definitely hit different for me. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Comment down below. Where did it hit for you? Did it hit internally? Did it hit mentally, emotionally? Like, I need to know what is given. Did we complete the assignment or is it incomplete? Of course, we'll continue with other episodes, so stay tuned for more. Please subscribe so I can see your lovely face back here again. And if you're feeling lovely, feeling loving, come on, Janae, this is your sixth time recording this video. Intro and outro, get it together. If you're feeling loving, please, Share this with someone you know, someone who's of deserving and someone who needs it. Maybe your best friend, maybe your mom, maybe even, I don't know, this is it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.